thing with your brush. If you if you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. Quietly say something to the stars 
to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. So when you ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Are you ready to say something? Elementary school. The deal was if you were the fastest runner in your class, 
about all of them. And in the fifth grade, the fastest runner was Rodney McCoy. Nowadays, it's a whole lot more complicated. Now it's about the kind of clothes you wear, or how rich you are, or if you have the, a cute butt, or whatever. And kids like Rodney McCoy are scratching their heads, wondering what the heck happened. The most popular boy in my grade is Bryce Anderson. The thing that really stinks is I have always been into girls, but kids like Bryce have only come around in the last couple of years. I remember how Bryce used to have back in the girls are stinky poos. Yeah, I don't think girls are stinky poos. But of course now I don't get any credit for sticking with the girls all the time. Like I said, Bryce is the most popular kid in our grade, so that leaves all the rest of us guys scrambling for the other spot. The best I can figure is that I'm somewhere around 52nd or 53rd most popular this year. But the good news is that I'm about to move up one spot because Charlie Davies is above me and he's getting his braces next to me. <laughs> I tried to explain this popularity stuff to my friend Riley, who is probably hovering right around the 150 mark. By the way, but I think it just goes in one ear and out the other with him. Today had his act. Today we had his act. So the first thing I did when I got outside was sneak off to the basketball court, see if the cheese was still there. And sure enough, it was. That piece of cheese had been sitting on the black top since last spring. <clears throat> I guess I must have dropped out of someone's sandwich or something. After a couple of days, the cheese started getting all moldy and nasty. Nobody would play basketball on the court where the cheese was, even though that that was the only court that had a hoop with an egg. Then one day, this kid named Darren Walsh touched the cheese with his finger and that's what started this thing called the cheese touch. Mm -hmm. It's basically like like the cooties. If you hit it, if you get the cheese touch, you're stuck with it until you pass it off somehow. Mm -hmm. The only way to protect yourself from the cheese touch is to cross your fingers. But it's not that easy remembering to keep your fingers crossed every moment of the day. I ended up taping mine together so they stay close all the time. I got a D in the right, but it was totally worth it. This one can name Abe Hall about the cheese touch in April, and nobody would even come near him for the rest of the year. This summer, Abe moved away to California and took his cheese touch with me. I hope someone doesn't start the cheese touch up again because I don't need that kind of stress in my life anymore. <laughs> I'm having a seriously hard time getting used to the fact that summer is over and I have to get out of bed every day, every morning to get, go to school. My summer did not exactly get off to the, a great start thanks to my older, bro, my older brother, Roger. A couple of days later, days into summer vacation, Roger woke me up in the middle of the night. He told me I slept through the whole summer, but that luckily, but that love, but that luckily I woke up just in time for the first day of school. You might think I was pretty dumb for falling for that one. But Roger was just in his school clothes and he set my arm block ahead to make it look like it was the morning. Plus, he closed my curtains so I couldn't see them. It was still dark out. 
After Roderick woke me up, I dressed and went downstairs to move myself some breakfast like I do every morning on a school day. Thank you. 